What's up, Finnabenders, and today I'm going to be reviewing the 2014 Republic Gunship. Some basic information before we get into the minifigures, which there are seven of them as you see here. A few of them are unique. Padme, Anakin, him, the clone commander guy, and I one other one. Some of them are quite more unique to this set, and not really in any others. Anyway, today the general information, set number 75021. It has 1,175 pieces, and it retail at retail time, it's $120. Now, when you look on Amazon, blah, everywhere else, is probably like $200, $300. This is 2014. That's quite a long time ago. It will be that $120. Anyway, let's go to the minifigures now. I did forget to say one thing. It does come with a poster. There you go. There it is. Really cool poster. It is obviously up on my wall, that's why I'm showing it. On the back, it does show like 2014 minifigures wave or something during that time. Very nice. I do have another one. If you want to see. An AT-80 one. I don't know if I told you guys. It does come with the AT-80. Obviously, a very nice poster. But that poster's the point of this video right there. Very cool poster. You do get it for free with it. Nice logo there. Lego Star Wars. And obviously, nice just show. I wish I could... Have it levitate like that without using bricks. It'd be really cool. I don't know why Lego doesn't do that. I think it's false marketizing. That no. <laughs> it's not. It's not it. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, it does come with a poster. Here we go. Starting out with Obi One. This is Episode Two. Obi One. If you couldn't tell, he does have longer hair in Episode Two. So let me get that lined up. He has some basic torso printing, as you can see right there. He has a little shine, little belt stuff. You can see nice flow down to the legs. Some back printing there, and just more to the belt back there. Then he has that normal face there, and then and you already saw that angry face. And we'll just get that there. Obviously, he has a lightsaber, and that's how his other face looks. And surprisingly, look at that. It's like really dark tan right there, and he's like pale there. So that's some wrong printing right there, but it, that's not too bad. It's not too bad, though. Anyway, to our next minifigure. Our next minute figure is Anakin Skywalker. Second, it's really hard to see. We'll just give you that good view right there. Sorry, it's kind of blinding. We'll just get it further away. Sorry. <laughs> you can tell here I'm very pro at this. Um, he does have some... You can see that they do fix the tan, the tanness there on, from Obi-Wan to Anakin. It is a fix. And he has some dark brown robes. That's why it's pretty hard to see in this light. Here we go. Sorry, just editing right away right now green lightsaber you can see their nice flow he's a decently nice minifigure i mean he is only in this set this type of the sandikin and then there's this verse head this goes around he has some nice back printing there and then on the other side his head is not right but that's how he looks pretty nice obviously it's a green lightsaber should have been a green lightsaber I hope I'm right. Anyway, that's him to our next minifigure. This minifigure, Padme herself, obviously. She has the scratch thing, which I don't believe is included in any other minifigure. I see you got those lines there. Some nice printing for her. Obviously, nice and exclusive for Padme. She, it's, she's in no other set for this, I don't believe. There's not really many Attack on Clone sets, it seems like. And this is one of the very few. And this is the one with, that has Padme. And so you can see they're pretty pretty nice face there. Obviously nice back print. There's not too much print. And then you got that face there. Obviously she has a nice 11 blaster or basic bl like your blaster rifle there for her. And she has a very nice hair piece. Sorry, everything's just moving on me. Very nice hair piece there. And that's how she looks smiling. Obviously nice printing there. And now to our next minifigure. Our first clone trooper, the clone pilot. See there, he has some nice exclusive printing there for a torso. And so it's basically a normal clone torso wing, put it on slapped on the front. This is pretty much probably the most disappointing minifigure that LEGO has made for this set. It's very, it gives you nice marked printings up there. Obviously, same face as every clone in 2014 had. So very depressing on it, I would say. They don't even have like a correct clone helmet. They just go first phase one they didn't even try i don't even think they didn't even try they didn't even do like a stage two stage two is closer than phase one sorry not stage two phase one looks closer like i got one around here this i can't believe i didn't grab one 
Anyway, you, you know how it looks if you're watching this video. Staged phase two would look better. As long as they just did these markings on the phase two helmet, it would work. And then they, I, th it probably looks like this in the movie. I don't know. You don't really get to see it. I don't really care to see it. All right. It, it, that the, the torso printing is fine. And then it's nice and exclusive. But yeah, anyway, it's a, it's a decent minifigure. It's nice to get one. Maybe two of them, but who cares? To, to our next clone trooper. Here's the red version of the clone commanders. There are multiples of them. Just a second. Let me show you the gun so we can get that out of the way. Obviously, a nice big gun attached to a Technic piece right here. So you get this attached to rifle. So you get a nice big rifle right there. <clears throat> Obviously, we'll, we'll describe him, then we'll talk. Come on, he's a command. You can see their commander or whatever that means, captain, whatever that got the, the stuff there. You know, he's official. He's got red markings. He has a nice silver visor there. Nice back print. You know how the helmet, the front, the face looks like every clone face nice red arms basic clone legs basically but anyway during this time around about 2014 and all that they were making kind of a line of multiples see here here here's a green one here's a yellow one all look exactly the same my personal opinion the yellow one's kind of the coolest one i like the yellow on a clone green is decent nice muted colors and red's nice in between but yeah it's nice to get this trooper and it fits with obviously let's just with the red on a republic gunship as you can see right there it fits with it, so obviously it seems fitting to have it with the clone thing. Anyway, to our last and final minifigure, which is basically a figure, actually. This is our last figure. We do get two of them right there, you see. We get the Super Battle Droids. Very nice, obviously, same mold for years since the beginning. Same mold. I'll just give you a few turnaround looks. Yeah, pretty nice to get. My personal opinion on this, obviously, it's going to be a play set, so they got to add some separatists for play. But what I also say is instead of just adding these two characters, add in two more clones so you can fill in stuff. I'll talk about it later on. And this is just my little extra. Instead of including these, add two plain clone troopers to them. So, yeah, let's get to the set itself now, actually. There's nothing too special about these. Let's see. Arms can move. Move to do. I don't know. It fell off. Let's go to the build now. Get on and show you into the build. I'm just going to tell you this. This set has set on a shelf for quite some time and it has a lot of dust. So please ignore the dust. I, I did some dusting, but it, it's really dirty. And there is a piece not correct here. I'll show you this piece right here should be light gray. But yeah, let's go on into it. And I'm going to that's just going to be on the spoilers. Otherwise, we're going to go and start to the front now. Here's the front right here. We'll just start actually at the very front. You get some nice green here, like a lot of Republic gunships have. You get some ball turrets, so you can move around turrets, turrets, whatever, shoot. Pretty dang nice. And then you get two seats for pilots here. If you got into, it'd be nice. I see you can set them in here. You can put his gun somewhere, which I'll show you in a minute. I really need something to hold this with. Sorry, gotta put his helmet back on situate him hope you are enjoying the glorious view whoop de doo anyway you can put him in there and you can see there it's kind of like the usual seating some studs and that's how he see sits in there you can put another figure and then he just goes boom looks pretty dang nice in there i want to admit you can tell when someone's piloting so pretty good we'll just actually keep on moving up to the top some nice slope to building here we'll put that aside nice slope building so it really looks good you got a handlebar here, or a handle. Very nice handle, very nice and sturdy, very swooshable. The set is very swooshable, very swooshable. And then up here, obviously, you get the huge engines, and then you get eight foot fire missiles up here, so you can just flick them. Ow, ow, okay, you know how they work. Obviously, I can't aim. Get nice big engines, and then we'll just move down these wings. Each wing is exactly the same. Nice designing, very nice basic wings, pretty sturdy right here. And you can open that up. Oh, uh, I had a gun. And you can put someone in there. I mean, as you can see, not too complex. She better fit in there because she's the one I got. And you get a sticker there. None of these are printed, they are all stickers. And you got one on the exact same size. So you do get two. And since we're on the topic of these, we'll move down to here. We're moving down in multiple areas very fast. I do have to admit, this set has a lot of play features. 
eight quick fire missiles and there will be extras which i'll show you and you can put a minifigure there sadly i should have thought of taking off stuff since i'm holding my phone to film this from such a distance boom he looks uh broke i'll come back to it anyway there you go there it's fixed right there pretty nice you can move it in like that so it's nice in storage so you can have it slightly thinner or you would like it out i would say if you're displaying it on a display stand if you could build one or anything boom it can move around it does break easily as proof don't grab it by that area okay j just okay we're just gonna look it at here it can move around cool right here is just some spot where you can put mini figures in and then right here ooh, okay you can, you can open both sides up both sides do open that happened let me move it over here sorry i just knocked something over and you get four extra missiles here and personally i do not care for this tan piece replace it with a light gray one i would say it makes it look nicer but otherwise you get four extra missiles i think it's nice storage using all of their space up as necessary i mean they don't really do their space here that well they just allow you to access it real easily i would say you put your hand in there pretty nicely which it does access there so it is kind of like a door and then here's a little secret during obviously holocrons or big or yoda chronicles whatever boom it's really cool pretty dang cool to get that i think it's just a nice little detail that they didn't need to add actually right in there and it goes right back in there that here's some extra storage if you want to say it's more like detail realistically but you can put in like a small blaster doors do open I will show you opening first, and I'll show you how they open. So pretty and cool, and simply by closing them is by pushing them. And they, you pull on these. I'll just show you. So cool. And then in there, you got plenty of space, plenty of stud room. Got some clear platforms there. Plenty of space for figures. I mean, there's plenty of space to put extra figures. So, yeah, you, it's a nice thing is what the Republic gunship does. And we'll close this and move to the back side, which actually is quite a bit. You'd be surprised by how much this back area has. Start with the most obvious, the spinning turret thing. Obviously, the back of the Republic gunship has this shooting turret. And you can move it and shoot it while you fly. I mean, it's pretty dang cool. And back here, it has a blaster storage area. So, then while all... Your figures who are sitting around and manning turrets it can even fill it up will fit a lightsaber so that's pretty dang nice to have it that big is fitting a lightsaber that's very nice it probably can't fit this well, we might as well test it um can it? I move it okay no it almost can't you're gonna have to break that gun up or just let them hold it and then lastly which i think is a nice addition right here so whenever padme just did i set this break just a second whenever padme falls off the republic gunship and it can, can go down in his speeder and the speeder to go save him i think it's really nice that they included this speeder it does just fit right onto those nice and secure but anyway you get this nice speeder and i'll show you when someone on it that is how someone looks sitting on it it is a very nice little speeder to get i would say it, it's not too complex it's nice and compact it can fit right in there very nice looking i mean it's a nice play feature to have addition to this set just have that hook there and then you can instantly have some ground play i mean it doesn't really have any blasters you can see i, I don't really see where you would have some maybe down there you can still just imagine shooting down those super super battle droids who are like trying to kill kill padme or something whenever she's on the ground now that would be really cool i would think very nice play addition for the set I, I wouldn't say that's really needed but yeah and i'll just show you it closed up it does boom we'll just close anakin off in there and we'll just show you how he looks on the inside like that if there's no anakin that's how it look it'd be nice and storage right there someone could get on it in there it'd be really hard to i would say if you want to play it do it like that it's like that and then just and 
let me set my phone down and I'll show you how to look. Uh, if it was landed, it would do that. And then if it's flying, it could do something else, which I'll show you right now. And if it was flying, you could do this. It was supposed to fall. As you can see here, it has a very tight connection. Okay, maybe not like that. But you could do like one more to where it's more like it's launching out. That's a problem. It's launching out. I believe I have a problem. It's pretty hard to get out. Like you need it up to a certain degree. Which I don't know if a minifigure can provide for. But yeah, anyway, that's that. And let's go to overall opinion now. It, I mean, it's kind of been miscellaneous. Oh, and I, uh, here, I'll just go over a few detail points here. Yellow and accents here. Very nice looking. Republic's insignia, obviously very nice looking. Glass windows, things like that when the doors are closed, which is the most they can close, which is how they were in the movie. But these glass slits, not they're glass here, but realistically they're open slits. It'd be a lot more work. Let's go to my opinion now. My opinion, my, this set deserves a 9.5 out of 10. The second this missile needs to fix. Fix, you dumb thing. All right, there we go. 9.5 out of 10. What's my main problem about this set is it's going to be the minifigures. There needs to be more clones with this set, which the only original Republic gunship actually gave you good amount with Je Jedi Bob and stuff. Th this one needs enough clones for it. Th that's what I'm saying. Take out the super battle droids, just annihilate them out of existence and put two plain clone troopers and then you can fill up like two with more of these and you can have more clones filled up. I do say seven minifigures for $120 set is a very nice amount. So I wouldn't say do more. I mean, it would be nice if they did more like nine or 10. I mean, it would be cool to fill it all up with these plain clones. Another pilot, you could just do six of the minifigures or clones, two pilots, four plane, and then add these three. That's nine. I mean, that's a good amount. It's a good amount, I would say. But, I mean, the new Republic gunship, the UCS Republic gunship, isn't even going to do that. It's only going to have two minifigures. Why won't they do, like, six? Six. Six. For these things. It'd be nice. That thing fell over. Otherwise, I would say the... The few problems is that this doesn't close all the way, but that's just old wear and tear. It's age. It's not really actual stuff, so that, that's not really a problem. But otherwise, this set has really good play, and I'm going to say this. If this was out at the same time as the UCS one, this would be a good competition against the UCS one. Because the UCS one, I believe, is going to be $350. This was only $120. Seven minifigures. Good look. Like, people are going to see that like, that's cool. That's really cool looking. I mean, I think it's really cool looking. If, if you have another opinion in your comments, say that down below. I think it would be really nice. But yeah, that is really, uh, this set's really cool. You get plenty of play, plenty of all that. Good stuff. I mean, what else am I going to say? This stuff is good. If you want this set now and you don't have it, I would say how much price it is. Go for a cheap price. I would say now, since it's going to be more expensive, the most you should pay is $200. $200. You'd still get a good money's value. But if you can get less, go for that. Because the set is worth your money if it's not good if it's a good enough price if it's too low it's not good and it comes with some exclusive minifigures so yeah very good but anyway that's it for this video i hope you enjoy it go check out my other reviews go check out for everything else there in this video uh, i'm confused now go check out other lego reviews go check other things out in my channel if, if you like the video i gotta just hit that subscribe button not, not, you don't have to hit that subscribe button, but you should if you didn't. If you haven't, just if you're not subscribed yet, hit that like button. And if, if you're not a fan of yet, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button. We are the fastest growing car crash in America. And bye.